Hi, this is Yi from Web Hosting Break and today I'm reviewing the WordPress theme Pilcrow by Automatic. Now Automatic, it's a cool startup company that has made some great widgets, sites and templates. Pilcrow is no different to its other products. It's dynamic, easy to use and gives you a good range of options. Now Pilcrow is an upgrade from Pressro, which no longer is in use for WordPress, but I think it's packed with much more flexibility and benefits. Uh, the default theme of Pilcrow, as you can see here, I guess is deceivingly simple and plain. But don't let that fool you as the theme is fully customizable down to the very little details, which I will show you later. Now, often I hear complaints about the lack of layout options available with free WordPress themes. I guess bloggers are tired of two column themes, which is what we have here, uh, where you obviously have the main content on the left hand side and you have the sidebar on the right hand side. Now, Pilcrow tackles this problem by providing you with six different layout options. So if we just go to the back end here and go under theme options, so you can see, hold up as it loads, there are six different layout options you can choose from. So from two columns to three columns and even the hard to find one column layout as well. So the main content width is only 500 pixels. Um, so if I just go here, you can see that some of the photos, they are a bit cropped out. However, if you're looking to include high resolution, large images, then you might opt for the full width layout that provides you with the generous width 900 pixels. So if I go back to the theme, and currently I just have the two column content sidebar. So if we go to the full width one with no sidebar, so save options. And we'll just let that load. Go back to this and refresh it. Okay, as you can see, the photos are not cropped and they're not zoomed in either, so they're nicely presented. Okay, um, what I love most about Pure is that you can completely revamp the look and feel of your blog. Now, the quickest and easiest way is to simply change the color theme. So, I'm going to go back to the back end. And again, under theme options, if you look at color schemes, uh, the default option is light. You can actually change it from dark, red, and brown. Now, it doesn't just change the background color, but also the fonts, links, and highlights as well. So if you go, uh, if you look at the light one, um, so this is what light looks like. Okay. If we go back, um, let's change it to red. Let's see how that looks. Save options. Okay. Um, loading. Okay, now let's refresh this page again. Okay, so there you go. And the drop down menu has changed as well with the highlights and the links. Okay, and of course, a lot of people do like the darker color scheme. So let's have a look what dark looks like. And let's change it back just to the default two column layout as well. So save options. Okay, go back to this, let's refresh. Okay, so this is the darker layout, and if we have a look at the drop down, it's actually inverted colors. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, so if you're looking to give your blog a complete makeover, and the color scheme, oh well, I guess the different color scheme, maybe not enough for you, then Pilcrow offers you the flex flexibility to change the background image and also the header. So if you go back to the back end again, uh, if you go under uh, background, let's wait for that to load. So as you can see, you can upload an image and the header as well. So you can change that. Okay. So I guess along with the other custom options, you do have an endless of possibilities to have the blog look in the way you want it to. Okay. So uh, the default one are these books over here. So you can choose the default images or you can actually upload your own image if um, you go with the specifications of 770 by 200 pixels. Okay. Um, so Pilcrow also provides you with plenty of widget spaces as well. So if you go into widgets, if you choose to have the three column layer, you're given an additional feature area, which is this area here, along with a secondary sidebar, so which is this part here. Okay. Um, I guess if you're worried about widget space when you have the full width layout, then you'll be pleased to know that there are two footer areas you can choose from. Okay. 
and I'll just show you quickly what that looks like. So if I just scroll all the way down, so here's the footer area you can have. So this is footer area one, and this is footer area two. Okay, so I haven't packed it with much themes yet. Um, the theme supports a drop-down custom menu, which we had a look before, which is these. And again, although it is um, pretty standard now with most WordPress theme to have a custom menu, um, it's still pretty hard to find, surprisingly. I guess you can effortlessly set this up in the back end under Appearances. So simply under Appearances, Menus, um, that way. Okay, so here you go. And you can easily set it up. It's pretty quick and fast. Um, a little nifty thing that I really like about this theme is how the comment profiles are displayed. Um, so if I go into a post, like food in Tokyo. Okay, if I just scroll down to the comment area. Um, so what I like most is when you hover over the profile pic, it would actually bring up a small light box with profile details and also personal links to social media sites as well. So if we just do this, just over it so there you go um, I think that's pretty cool this little widget here and you can actually click to go to the other links as well okay so again wrapping up your crew it's definitely a WordPress theme for those of you who love to customize the look and feel of your blog I guess the multiple layouts different color schemes and options to change the header and background would definitely keep you busy as you mix and match options so again if you're looking uh, for a very personalized blog I would definitely recommend Pilcrow by Automatic. So if you have any suggestions or feedback about this theme or other themes you would like me to review, uh, do comment below and um, I'll maybe review some of the themes for next week. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.